I'm gonna talk about popular sayings that are completely nonsense. Here we go. The first one on the bat is gonna be the most popular. It is dark day, dark fly, bright day, bright fly. That's a load of crap. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter. It matters that you're putting the fly in front of the fish's face and it looks fishy enough, it looks buggy enough, they're gonna take it. Uh, does the sculpin change color because it's dark out, it's gonna get really dark? Or uh, if it's really bright out, the sculpin's gonna change to white? Come on, man. It's like, use your head. Next one. The next one I've proven over and over and over again that it's a bunch of BS and that is when the water's blown out and the river's high and it's it is like chocolate milk and all that the fish don't bite because they can't see. Dude, they can see, all right? They can find a little midge, they can find a little caddis fly, uh, they can find a big old uh, uh, dungeon fly, they can find everything. I've proven it time and time again. I've had times where people that I know, uh, that I consider really good fishermen, that I would want to go fishing with, not naming names, but you know who you are if you're watching, uh, not want to go because, oh man, it's raining crazy outside or something. No, dude, that is when you want to go. That's when like the fish are like, they're more predictable. They're sticking closer to cover I know where they're gonna be at and there's to me I catch more fish in crazy crappy days in fact the best personal brown that I've ever caught and the best personal uh, brook trout that I've ever caught is on the most nastiest days when no one's out there and I've of course caught them both on uh, big streamers but that doesn't matter what matters is is that they're still biting so give it a shot Hook sets are free. They are not free. I'm telling you right now, anybody that sets a hook when you're, when you're dredging bottom sometimes and you go like this, you're either losing your flies, you're losing your split shot, or you might even lose the whole rig. Uh, and I'm talking about even your fly line or your sink tip and all that. By the way, if you are swinging flies and hook sets are free, I'm telling you right now, I you probably had a really nice intruder pattern just get stuck at the bottom. If you tie them yourself, it takes a long time, but if you're buying them, some of them are like 30 bucks Canadian, and I'm telling you, that hurts. There, There's no such thing as a free hook set. The next one that bothers me is uh, when people say that salmon don't bite when they enter the river. Yes, they do bite. I've watched them, I've caught them chasing streamers tons of times. Uh, my favorite color is gonna be chartreuse. I'm telling you right now, if you use any any chartreuse pattern, uh, whether it's an intruder or just uh, stripping streamers, you are, are, are in the zone. You will most likely get into salmon. Now I will say, they are harder to catch the, high, uh, the, the higher up the river they go. So uh, when they're in the gravel bottoms, they're doing their thing. First of all, you don't fish a spawning fish. What we're trying to do is we're trying to intercept them before they get up there, okay? And there's a lot of aggressive males. In fact, I've never caught a female when I'm stripping streamers. I've only caught males and they're always angry and it is a fight of a lifetime. You owe it to yourself to go out and fish with streamers for these beautiful, gorgeous, massive fish. Listen, there's tons of other sayings and I could just make this video like 50 minutes long if I wanted, but I'm gonna end it here because, uh, well, why not? Get out there, go fish, keep her tight. We'll catch you on the next one. I'm Milan from Greenhorn Flyhorn.